In this video, we're going to show you the closed hitch system. Next, we'll show you the difference between the closed hitch and the open hitch system. After that, we'll show you a few different variations of the closed hitch system. Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. Today, what I'm gonna talk about will be the closed hitch system. It's using the MRS systems. Let's get to it. Before we get to the video, all the knots and hitches, everything that we're gonna use will be linked in the description below. So if you're interested in learning in more detail, um, use those. Before I talk about the closed hitch system, I wanted to talk with you about the more traditional system that's an open hitch system and show you how it worked. Um, so here you have uh, the traditional system. In a traditional system, you'd have like a, a clip, a connecting knot, you have a bridge, you'll have your friction hitch, and you'll have a stopper knot. In this system, when you're, when you're um, operating it, you would be below your knot, and here's your bridge, and your action would be to body thrust, so your hips would go up, and then you push. That means you're tending your line. Um, your, your rope goes over the branch, so this whole section moves. So this is the, the meat and potatoes of it right here. This hitch system is open because this, if this were to slip out, um, your system would fail on you. So that requires a stopper knot. Now this is a great system, but it's um, just one piece of rope. And so if you were advancing, you have to um, untie everything. So the next thing I'll show you is a, a same type of open hitch system, but with a split tail. So the next open hitch system that I'll show you is a split tail system. In this system, you have the addition of an, the end of a line with a termination knot, an extra carabiner, and with your, your climbing cord, which is a split tail, with a termination, also your friction hitch, and then here's your open end, and this is the stopper that closes it. So in this system, you also have a pulley that acts as a tender, so it tends your line. So the other system, when you were operating it, you would pull and you're tending your line. Now with this system, <clears throat> you would be, when you're gonna ascend, you would grab above your hitch, the other you're below, but in this one you're above, and your motion is to push your body, and then you tend it from underneath. And so this is a good system when you're in the tree, a split tail, because if you have to advance, you can d disconnect and reconnect really quickly. In the traditional, you'll have to um, untie everything. So this is a another option for a open hitch system. The next thing I'll show you is the closed hitch system. Now I'll show you the closed hitch system. So with the closed hitch system, it's basically the same thing. Uh, if you have a termination in, or you might have a splice die, you would connect to the, this point. Since I'm not using a splice die, I'm gonna use a termination hitch. And you can use um, basically any termination hitch that you'd like to use, um, as long as it's a good cinching one, one that doesn't like allow your carabiner to slide. For me, um, the ones I would use the most would be an anchor, bunt line, and the one I'm using on this is a double fisherman's bend. So that's the first part of your setup. Next, you will use a friction cord. This one happens to be a 24 inch, and it's an eye to eye. Um, you can use different lengths and multiple different types of friction hitches. So to tie mine, I'm gonna use a Mitchell Con. Not really gonna show how to tie or to explain, but just tie it and get it set. So that's that part of it. And I'll also use the micro pulley. I'll put a micro pulley underneath, and then I'll have the carabiner that I connect to the system. Connect the carabiner here through the micro pulley. Ouch. Now, I'll connect that to my belt below my termination. So, same components. Your termination end, your working end. Now, these two pieces are your bridge. The other ones had a long bridge. Now, depending on cord size, your bridge could be longer. This is the important part right here. This two pieces that connect onto the carabiner are the closed hit system. You will recall the other one was tied and then you had a stopper knot here. 
So definitely with something like this, it's not gonna slide out on you. The friction hitches are normally closer to you and then the action is in this way. So um, same way, the other one you would be underneath, you had to t uh, tend your line. On this, you're gonna be above it, above your hitch, and when you pull, now you tend your line. So that's one option for a closed hitch system. I'll show you with a couple of other pulleys. There's a, um, a pinto pulley that's or a, a, a hard a pulley that doesn't bend. I'll show you that one. And then after that, I'll show you a hitch climber pulley. Another option is using this style of a pulley. Now, some people feel that it's a little bit cleaner of an operation because the eyelets are inside and they're not out. So they feel that it holds it better. Um, and this is the same way how it would operate. It would operate in, in this fashion. So it's another good option. Here is another style of uh, pulley you can use. It's a hitch climber pulley. And so the, the way you would connect this is in the same way. You just go below your hitch. For me, I like to use the bottom becket, just I'm more comfortable. And you connect it in that way. Then you would use your termination. Instead of connecting to your belt, you connect to the, the hitch climber. And because I have a termination, I'm gonna use the, the further becket out. And then you'll connect the system back to yourself, to your, your D on your saddle. And now all the components are the same. You have your termination carabiner that's connected to the hitch climber. You have your hitch cord with your bridges that are locked onto your carabiner and then the pulley. Now the, the deal with this, this system is that, well, if you have a longer bridge, when you pull, your system goes up with you. Now I have it with this, since it's a short, um, it's connected to me, I would go above and then pull from here. So that's the, the action of it. But all of these um, different pulleys with the close hit system, it's a real safe system. If you're using MRS, these are having a close hit system a little bit better than having the open system. So here you go, the closed hit system and all the different components, you, whether it be an eye or a termination connected to a carabiner and to your system, whether it's a hitch climber or a micro pulley. And then you're having the, the bridge and the friction cord connected to a carabiner. All That's the main components of it. To me, it's a real safe system to use comparing it to say the open hitch system. They're both safe, but this is just a little bit safer. The way this operates, it's a smoother operation and more compact. I'm really um, in favor of this close hitch system. All the knots and hitches, everything that we're gonna use will be linked in the description below. So if you're interested in learning in more detail, um, use those. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And remember, sure are videos. Take care, we'll see you next time.